to another episode of Children's Church Online. Today we're going to start a new block of teaching which I'm really excited to unpack to you today. So without further ado, let's go over to our teaching section. In this new section of teaching, we'll be looking at how Jesus challenges us. And Jesus challenges us in the New Testament. We can read through the parables. These are stories where Jesus uses everyday living things to remind us of some of the things where we can live better for God. So again, I'm going to be reading from a child friendly version. We have three separate pieces of scripture today and the chapter book verses are coming up on screen for you now. I would encourage you to jot these down for your children, all parents and carers out there, because children need to get used to reading the Bible independently for themselves. So if you can go through this, that would be great. But I'm going to read through them separately as well now. Matthew seven sixteen to 20. No one picks grapes or figs from thorn bushes. A good tree produces good fruit and a bad tree produces bad fruit. A good tree cannot produce bad fruit and a bad tree cannot produce good fruit. Every tree that produces bad fruit will be chopped down and burned. You can tell who the false prophets are by their deeds. Matthew 7, verses 12 and 13. Treat others as you want them to treat you. This is what the law and the prophets are all about. Go in through the narrow gate. The gate of destruction is wide and the road that leads there is easy to follow. A lot of people go through that gate. Matthew 7 verses 24 to 27. Anyone who hears and obeys these teachings of mine is like a wise person who built a house on solid rock. Rain poured down, rivers flooded, and wind beat against that house. But it did not fall because it was built on solid rock. Anyone who hears my teachings and doesn't obey them is like a foolish person who built a house on sand. The rain poured down, the rivers flooded, and the winds blew and beat against that house. Finally, it fell with a crash. All of these scriptures, all of that that we've just read, reminds us that we have a decision to make. A decision to make about how we live. We can either live as the man, as we've just read, who built his house upon the rock, or the man who was foolish and built his house on the sand. In other words, we can either build our lives on Jesus and the teachings of the Bible, or we can build our lives on the things of the world and what we see around us that are not of God. And we've got a decision to make. And I want us to remember this scripture throughout this teaching, which is this. You are righteous, Lord, and your laws are just. The rules that you have given are completely fair and right. God is completely fair and right with all of us. But we are indeed given a choice on how we are to live. Because God wants to give us that choice. He wants to give us that free will to choose him. And he wants us to choose him. But often we can be swayed by what the world offers. Let me encourage you to choose God in this day. And without further ado, we're going to go over to our craft section or a craft linked in with this teaching. Hi, 
and welcome to this week's Caroline's Craft Corner. It's wonderful to be with you crafting again and looking at the Bible and then doing a fun craft afterwards. So you're going to need your pens, your pencils, some white card will be needed today. If you've got that, that would be brilliant. And some scissors so assistance with younger children will be needed on this craft. With today's craft, we're going to be using the whole of the piece of card today because we want to make it really, really big and really effective to remind us of the teaching that we've just learned. So we're going to start off this craft. So what I've done here is, if you can remember the teaching that we've just learned about the house on the rock, we're going to actually do ourselves a house on a rock. Now this is my little drawing here. So what I've done is used a pen and a pencil to construct a little house there and a rock at the bottom. To continue with your design, what you need to do next is to put your window or windows as I've got four of them and a door on your house. Now that you've finished the detail on your house, what you're going to do with the room left in the roof of your house, you're gonna write the focus scripture, which is this. You are righteous Lord and your laws are just. The rules that you have given are completely fair and right. Now comes the fun part where you're able to decorate your house and your rock. So I have finished my craft, so here it is. Ta -da! So what I've done is, as you can see, I've coloured it in a little bit. I've went over some of the writing, just made it a little bit more detailed. So you can do similar to me. And maybe it might be an opportunity to give this to somebody, reminding them that when we stand upon God, even the wind and even the storms of life that come against us, we are stood in the right place, on the rock on which we stand, our faith. Thank you for joining me again on this episode of Caroline's Craft Corner along with Children's Church Online and I'll see you again next week. Bye bye.